what are the challenges for maintaining such uh, knowledge safe for the future uh, generations? Uh, well, I guess the uh, greatest challenge to uh, um, losing this traditional knowledge is the um, fact that uh, the younger generation, uh, of course, naturally would prefer a, the softer life of the uh, urban centers. And if they have the opportunity to leave the rice fields, they would. And uh, so uh, um, while at the moment we still have uh, enough culture bearers or people who know the, uh, uh, who, who bear the traditional knowledge, um, again, as I say, uh, as I said, the uh, young people uh, tend to uh, stay away from the rice fields. However, um, in the uh, provincial government, uh, as in the uh, uh, public education of uh, Ifugao, we have uh, uh, included uh, schools of living tradition. The schools where indigenous knowledge are being taught to our young people as part of the uh, curriculum. In the capital um, of the province of uh, Ifugao, we also have our own uh, School of Living Tradition uh, uh, courses. Our uh, Ifugao Culture and Heritage Office uh, uh, sponsor uh, trainings where uh, culture bearers uh, train uh, those who are interested, normally young people, in uh, the different uh, arts and skills uh, in the traditional way of uh, working in the fields and maintaining the forests and the rice fields and uh, such other uh, matters including the culture itself. You see, uh, the rice terraces of Ifugao and the cultivation of uh, a variety of rice uh, which allows planting only for one year has evolved a culture around such cultivation. Thirteen stages in the cultivation which roughly accounts to 13 months and each stage in the cultivation of rice represents a distinct set of rights and practices such that the culture of Ifugao has become so rich. And uh, again, like the traditional knowledge in uh, uh, maintaining our uh, rice fields, uh, the culture is equally threatened by uh, uh, modernization uh, where uh, young people have uh, uh, been become interested in uh, other things. Uh, but again, we uh, have included uh, uh, imparting uh, our culture to our children through our schools of uh, living tradition. It's still uh, uh, a large part of Ifugao uh, practice uh, cultural tradition, the rites, the uh, practices, um, and I don't see the culture being threatened uh, in the very near future. Just that we're very careful that uh, we do not wake up one day and find out that nobody knows anything anymore about our culture. We're uh, confident that uh, with our interventions now uh, and the uh, pride of our people in our culture that the culture will be here to stay with us. It has been with us for 2,000 years, maybe, and hopefully it would stay with us for another 2,000 years. Thank you.